Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Delightful Creations, I'm Amber. And today we are going to play with my favorite thing, which is number three, and it is, da da da, coffee. So <laughs> I was gonna go ahead and have a bunch of die cut out um, coffee things to put together, but I cannot find the charger to my iPad. I have no idea where it is. It's been gone for a week, and if I just briefly check, um, I have 36% left on my iPad, so I really need to save that so that I can do the Draw the Winner video right here, you guys, for the lovely Rose Journal. So if you haven't checked that video out, I will leave it linked down below so that you can take a peek at uh, winning this little beauty here that I've spent so much time creating. And um, yeah, it would just be so nice um, to be able to have that in your stash. So I got to save some of my iPad battery over here um, to be able to pick a winner for you guys live on camera. And um, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> that's where we are. So um, for coffee, I pulled out a coffee dyed book page. I have a coffee dyed doily that I was trying to turn into a pocket that I didn't quite finish. The one coffee die cut that I did have already made up. I have a coffee tag. This is from a Lindsay Zanore um, Creamy Dreamy Kit. I have coffee dyed music paper, a coffee dyed just regular paper, and then I have a page out of my coffee scrapbook with a bunch of different strips and stuff that we can cut apart. So all I'm going to do today is going, I'm going to create a page spread. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold my page here in half. This is just a regular eight and a half by 11, but it is super, super thick. Um, I, I used a really heavy uh, coffee paper for that. And... I'm going to do just a little bit of collaging. I really want to be able to use this coffee dye doily as um, of one of my sides of my pocket here. And this will go into one of my journals. Sometimes I like to make um, things ahead of time and use them. And other times I don't. I really like to have it on, like, especially all tied together. Um, but today I'm feeling just to make a journal page for you guys here on camera. I'm just going to cut this journal tag out. I love... I love this coffee set and um, yeah, so I haven't had a chance to play with these tags yet and I just printed this on regular coffee or copy, wow, copy paper, just like 20 grams. So it's really, really thin and um, I could have had this pre-cut before I started filming. Sorry about that. But um, I think coffee and books go together just, just so, so lovely and, and so that's why I pulled in and music. Like, <laughs> All right, so I like everything I love. Um, and then I have a couple of words here that we can pick from too. And I want this to kind of pop behind here. I don't necessarily want um, you to focus on all the words because this book here I've, um, I've discovered <laughs> uh, that it's not exactly a crafting book. There's some pretty naughty um, things on there. So I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this down and I've been naughty again. I have not, have not got a glue drawer. I was just gonna use my um, my dad's coffee mug, but I was like, what if the glue goes down there and wrecks it? Because you know it's the only mug that I have, and you know I didn't want to take any chances. So I'm just gonna use my Fabric Fix today because it's been coming out a lot better. As you can see, I have had, I've lost. Well, I haven't lost. The lid is right above me. But by putting a paper clip that is all gunked up in there, it is holding it a lot better. It's coming out a little bit better for me. So anyways, I love the smell of coffee dyed paper. It is so yummy. I mean, I, this is the first pack of paper um, that I dyed a long, long time ago. And um, it just, oh, yes, it just smells so good. It's French vanilla. And so I want to have this on here. So this is going to be a really muted color palette. Um, and that's why I wanted to pull this in so that I could go ahead and um, be able to use a little bit more pops of color. Like there's some really pretty coppery rich style here and some blues and pinks. But for this page on the front here or whatever, it ends up being in the journal. I wanted to keep it pretty plain, natural, and neutral coloring. So I'm just adding a little bit of Fabrifix glue here to the flaps of my doily pocket, which honestly I've never made before. So I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, I was just having fun watching Pam at the Paper Outpost on things you can do with doilies. And 
hers, well, I mean, she left hers kind of like a doily burrito, I think is what she calls it. And then she ended up folding it up, but not quite as, this is actually a smaller um, doily than what she used. So I need a little bit more glue here. And then see if I just lay it down, <laughs> we'll be in business. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to get a glue jar. I was going to use um, some water bottles because again, I watched Pam and she just has a glue stand with a couple of water bottles and she sticks them in there upside down. So I was like, well, I could do that, but you know, been busy and I haven't got around to it. Life has gotten kind of crazy lately. So anyways, there's that. And I'm just going to have this just be a pocket. I'm not going to make it a tuck because it is pretty, pretty thin back there. So let's do, oh, I kind of just want to leave it pretty plain like this, but I really want to be able to use this tag and the tag should fit in there. If I, if I didn't glue it down, if I didn't glue my pocket down, seep through my little, my little holy bits here. Let's try that again. I might need to back this. Um, tag up. Oh, no, it's kind of tight. It's kind of tight. Let me see if a journal card will fit in there. Let me just grab one really quick from my stash right here. Here we go. I've got just a pink one and see if that'll fit down in there. It doesn't go quite down because I glued it too much right here, but um, yeah, I think that will be kind of my option. So I'm going to choose, um, I'm gonna glue my pocket down and then I want to have a word to go on the front and have it be on the front of the pocket. Maybe it doesn't have to be a coffee word, right? But it's coffee dyed paper on coffee dyed paper with a coffee dyed doily. And I wanted a coffee tag inside of the doily, but um, kind of messed that up. So plan B, <laughs> maybe we'll use a project life card. So here we go. I kind of pull it down a little bit just because uh, sometimes um, in my journals, like when I put a page in, I have to trim the tops um, because I don't make it a full eight and a half by 11. And then I have to trim the edges so that it doesn't um, fan out over the book. If that makes any sense. Okay. So I just, I want to try this again. I really wanted this to be on the inside. I really did. And it will go in there. I just, I don't want to rip the doily trying to fight it to go inside the pocket. But maybe if I just open up the one side. Nope. All right. Let's, don't rip on me. Okay. So I really want to use this. Aha! Ta-da! Okay. So that's that. Let's go ahead and do, I want to back it on something, but I don't want to back it on music paper. I want to be able to write on it. So I'm going to pull in my craft box and we have some leftover purple paper from oops is that one big enough from when I did my purple video not very long ago all right I'm gonna have to use this gigantic purple one okay so for this one just gonna back it and then we'll recut it out so yeah I just love 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 coffee I love it so much it is the screensaver on my iPad um, I have a couple of different coffee candles um, that I burn occasionally of course, I have coffee every morning, and right now I've been really enjoying pumpkin spice coffee, and I think I'm going to go pick up another bag of that because you can only get it, you know, during this season, and last year I um, went back to get more, and it was gone already. It was already, it was already sold out, so, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So here we go. We're going to cut this down again, and just trying not to cut the digital itself. If I would learn to cut on, or print on a little bit heavier duty paper, it would solve some of that problem there. But you know, it is fun to have a pop of color on the back. That'll be that'll be so fun to be able to use. And trying to go around this tag here. There's a huge hole for the center to be able to add like a tabby bit thingy here, and I don't I don't know if my circle punch is um that big. So I guess we can try it and see if it is. So let me grab it. It's a really tiny one. And I have to stand up to get it because it's not, oh, here's a flower. Let's just use this one because that's the one I grabbed. I'm going to use a flower punch. So I'm going to turn this upside down. This is how I punch like everything. Oh yeah, that'll work pretty good. And um, so I can line it up and see where it's going to punch. Oh yeah, it might help if you guys could see. So I'm just gonna press that down like right about there. And this 
is one of the very first punches that I ever received. And so that's, or I actually bought. And that's kind of cute, actually. Maybe I'll just glue that down right here. Um, Because, you know, it's purple flower, right? Okay. And I want to add a gemmy. For some reason, I'm feeling like we need a gem inside there. Let's do, uh, I don't want blue. Let's do, let's do, should we do purple again? Kind of, I'm kind of liking these. These are kind of cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty. I haven't used very many of these. I don't, I don't even know where I got these from. Because, you know, hearts go on everything. It's like a pinky purple heart. Perfect. I'm going to add one to the coffee cup. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm going to add this yellow one because it's kind of like creamy and it will just look like goldish kind of like coffee. Because I don't drink black coffee. No, 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 no. That is yucky. <laughs> black coffee is terrible. Now here, you're not going to see that when um, when I put some ribbon through here. Here we go. Some purple polka dotted. It's getting weird, isn't it? It's getting weird in here. Let's see here. Now... All I have on my desk are purple ribbons because I was planning, I was going to do <laughs> purple, purple ribbons. Oh, here, look, I'm going to be able to use up this for my happy mail and you'll be able to see the numbers and uh, yeah, I think that'll be cute. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to loop this in here just like this and I don't have any of my big gigantic brads um, down here and I got to be careful that I don't rip the tag itself. It's kind of short. We'll make it work. We're making it work. Okay. Um, cause it's like really far down there. What was I saying? Oh, the brads. Yeah. Um, I've got some of these. I don't know what the point of punching out the oh, goodness. I can't even get these open. I've yeah. Eh, there we go. I've got these really pretty brads. Hello. They all just kind of fell on the floor, so maybe I'll just take this one and and punch that through there. Oh, I'm just adding stuff and adding stuff. Sorry, you can't see. I'm going to bend this over. It doesn't fit on there too spectacular. It would have been better if I would have um, not have punched a hole in it. And, yeah, that's not going to hold. It's not big enough. Well, that was the biggest brad that I had, so that was, that was a good try. It was a good try by me. Okay, we're going to leave it the way it is. I just made a big mess that i got to clean up. Okay, and you'll be able to slide that in and out of there right on it. Coffee, please. Super adorable. I love it. Okay, so let's go to the inside here. Let's do this. Heavenly sunlight. That's speaking to me. It's like coffee all day. Heavenly sunlight all day long. I don't really care about the number. I, I much prefer the... Uh, music music note can't see my halfway point here so there we go i'm gonna do it the cheater way just like that so i don't cut it too small but i don't want to leave it too big either it's not straight okay there we go coffee please and on this one we're gonna have heavenly sunlight uh, i'm gonna make it a middle pocket like this Going around the middle. Yes, we are. And I'm not going to make this one my traditional fold-over flap because I want you to be able to see that um, heavenly sunlight there. And I don't want to fold it down too little. Like, just a little bit. It's just, that's not going to help me. I guess I could have went over a little bit more here on the edge. That was not straight cutting. That's okay. It's all right. We're having fun. We're just having fun, guys. Okay. Scooch over. Scooch over just a smidge. All right. What are we going to put in this pocket? I, here's what I did. Back in the day, when I made stuff like this, I'd use pop dots. And now that I've cleaned out my room, I've found pop dots, or whatever you call these things, foam squares, three-dimensional bits uh, everywhere. I think I have like, oh my gosh, four or five packs of those. Um, and I don't like them in junk journals because they're too bulky. I like to be able to actually write. Um, so I'm just going to actually... Nope, I don't want to cover those up. I'm going to put it on that side of the page. going to glue it down. I could have glued it to be a tuck spot. Do it now. And I'm going to come down off of the music paper just a little bit at an angle. Heavenly sunlight. We have a little coffee cup. Ah, oh, so cute. Little pocket right here. Let me find a... Ooh, 
what one of these? Oh, they're going to be too big, aren't they? Oh, look, that's funny. That one has a coffee. <laughs> that one has a coffee on it already. But if I would have put the pocket down smaller, uh, I don't think I can... You don't have to cut off and it sticks out of the page and I don't like it. That was funny though. That was just the first one over here. How about this one? This one will fit. There we go. Okay, now let's take... Oops, we've got stuff flying out. Oh yeah, I wanted a word on the front of here, didn't I? I get sidetracked. Oh, maybe we should cut the word first. Oh, let's go with... Well, I kind of want to put mug over here, but that says cafe. <sighs> let's go with sip. Because I am a sipper, and I do sip my coffee. Maybe this one I could do this cute little flower punch. Yeah, look at that. That'll work. There we go. Cute little word there. All right, glue, glue. We're focusing. I'm going to put it right here in the center of that. A little bit of that doily right there. Cute little idea. And it matches the coffee please up here. Super cute. I want something here, but I'm going to leave it for right now. Okay, over here. Focusing or focusing. What was I doing? I want to add... Well, I think that's enough. I don't... Maybe we do it on the journal card itself. Maybe we'll just cut out hug and a mug. But first coffee. That's the one we're going to cut out. But first coffee, because also it's easy to get to because it's on the edge. And I am going around the stitching kind of really sloppily. Look at that. Because I was going to cut this out first and then do the... Uh, brown circle itself. You'll see. Should have come on here a little bit more prepared. Sorry guys. It's not going to be round anymore either. <laughs> I can't cut straight and I can't cut round. But you know what I can cut? Fussy. I love me some fussy cutting. Okay. I kind of want to add I kind of want to add something behind here, but I, I really like it. Ooh, I know we can make it the pull-out part. Ooh, I'm liking that idea. Let's do that. Let's just make it the pull-out tab instead of page decoration. Oh, crud. <laughs> Did you see that? I just... I added um, the glue too tall. Too much, too far up, because, you know, just get all crazy with the glue in sometimes. Just going to rub that off. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Perfect. But first coffee, Heavenly Sunlight Cafe. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm going to trim this. That's going to bug me. Okay. There we go. Page two. Done. Look at that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Um, should we do one more thing or should we call that done? I don't think I have anything else coffee on my desk now besides my music paper. So I guess we're done. Um, I really don't want to... I did want to add that. How about we add... Let me just cut this out. This goldy foiled coffee wordage here. And I'm trying to cut as straight as I can here. I'm going to add that. Well, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to cut above this blue border because the words are going a certain way. So I don't need this whole thing. But I don't know which word I want on there yet. So I'm going to cut the whole thing off and then I'll come back and I'll do the scallops. All right, so what I was thinking was adding just a little bit here. So that one I'd have to cut off something. Beautiful day, but first coffee. Well, this one says, but first coffee. So what if we start it here with hug and a mug and one... Oh, it's going to be cut off there. Ah, Take coffee one... Yeah, right here. Take coffee one... Take life one cup at a time and coffee time. That's what we're going to use. These all came from the same coffee pack that I have, that I actually have two of. I'm almost through the second, or the first paper pad. I've been making a journal. It is for a challenge from Dear Julie Julie. I decided to participate this month, which is kind of crazy. It's why I haven't been filming, because I've been busy creating, and then... Oh my goodness, and not being able to find my iPad charger has been strange. Strange, strange, strange. I have no idea where it is. I've, I've looked everywhere. Um, and that's how I see on my screen. And also, you know, how I draw winners and use my cutting machine. So, I might be ordering an Apple charger. 
So that is the only bummer about that. All right. I could make this a tuck spot, but I think I just want page decoration. I think, I think that's because then I can journal here. That's a lot of journaling space. A little bit here. I can journal back up there. So I'm just going to glue this down just for a simple decoration. Okay. Here we go. Glue, glue, glue. Okay. Done. And I'm going to pull it up a little bit from the edge. Make sure I'm not going into the crack there. Yeah, see I was. A little bit from the edge. So I have a little bit of the copy border on the bottom. Press and seal. There we go. Done. Now I feel like the back page needs something because there's all this coffee stuff everywhere else. Should we do the same thing? Just do it at the top? That's a really nice page spread. Can I get it on there? Beautiful day. What if I do... Yeah, I don't like that it... Nope. I don't like that it doesn't fit on there quite right. I was looking at cafe latte flat white mocha that doesn't quite fit so maybe we have mocha macchiato those are like my favorites the mocha macchiatos mm -hmm. yes indeed well let's do this so I wanted to have a little pop of color I really like this little strip here with all the different coffee cups and pastries and the coffee pot and I think that's more than enough of how much I need it I don't want to cut that off that coffee mug. Ah, okay. Uh, cut this a little bit straighter, maybe. Yeah. Try. We're gonna try. There we go. And there. So this one, actually, I'll put it at the top. Like I said, just a little bit of decoration at the top. And let's do. Let's do this one at the top here. And. Make sure we get enough glue, right? You can never have too much glue. All right. We'll frame it in that way so it's on all three sides. I like that. And then, oh, I don't have my gold down here. That's okay. We'll add a little bit of pretty stickles to it. And I'm going to add it to the coffee cups here and the coffee um, teapot. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a gem like I did on the front one where I added the sticker. There. Look at that. Super adorable. Love it. Oh, you guys can't see. It looks like I did nothing. But pull it up here. Once it dries, can you see that? Oh, that's a really bad. That's like a dark angle, isn't it? Ah, can you see it? All right. Well, guys, that's our little journal page entry for our coffee. So stay tuned for the next video. It's coming up soon because I got to film it and get it up for you guys before the end of the month. I've got a lot more to go. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.